Hey guys, what's up? Alec back with the daily stock market and look at that. We have to start with ChargePoint on the screen because they're up 12% after hours, absolutely shooting up. They're one of my largest positions, have over $5,000 in ChargePoint and another about $500 in option calls. Our account obviously benefited huge on the day, up $900. At one point we were up $1,300, but looks like we're shooting back up due to the after hours earning report from ChargePoint. So what we're gonna be talking about today is a stock market update. There's been a, some big movers and some updates we gotta do about cryptocurrency as well. Ethereum's almost at $4,000 again. So make sure you stay throughout this entire video if you want to hear some Ethereum updates. Wish is another one of our big holdings that was on the move today, up around 6%, 7% which was pretty interesting for Wish to be up that big because we bought some this morning in the pre-market and made some money, about 6% gain. And then Wish ended up falling and erasing most of its gains from the day. Now it's up around 3% on the day, but can definitely pop up more later this week. It looks like they're up good on a trend in the past week, up 7%. So definitely watch out for Wish. Now, Tattooed Chef's another one that's been making us some money up 10% on the week. So if you bought in towards the bottom, right around $18 and $19, which we were doing on my close friends list, we were even buying closer to $16 per share. Loading up on Tattooed Chef, you can be up around 20 to 30% or even 35% if you timed it perfectly. Now, most people probably have their average cost right around $18 per share, which would be a, a nice 20 to 30% gain on Tattooed Chef. Now, I don't know if you guys heard, but the Reddit Wall Street Bets community is actually picking up on Tattooed Chef and trying to turn it into one of those meme stocks, which can be a good thing for short-term investors to make some money and get out of the chef and move their money somewhere else. Now, if you see what's going on in the last year, it's pretty easy to swing trade. You know, it goes down to $15, $16 per share, goes up to $20, $24, $25 per share, goes down to $16, goes back to $23. So I think right around now is a good time to take some profits. But with Wall Street Bets community taking uh, Tattooed Chef under their wing, we can see some more gains in the future. And we can even see new all-time highs with the community's help. Now, this call option that was up 12% when ChargePoint was up only 3% is absolutely going to skyrocket tomorrow morning in the pre-market because obviously the after hours 12.7% gain that it's had so far will not be noted to the stock until it opens in the morning. So this one will be a huge percent gain that we took out in my community. If you want access to my option trades, I post one to two option trades per week in my courses and my close friends list. So you're gonna have, you know, this is a smaller option too. So beginner smaller options are welcome. You don't have to do $1,000 options to make money. This is a $250 option that we took out and we'll probably make around 100% gain maybe 50 to 100% gain, we'll see. I'll post it tomorrow morning, so make sure you have post notifications on Instagram or follow me on Instagram. So you can see how much money we are making off ChargePoint. Now, Baba's another one that we are gonna be making money on. We haven't made much off them yet. We've actually been losing some money, but if you're doing an option call, typically when they get to like that $157, $160 mark, it's a good time to take out a call option, even if it's just for a couple days to make some of the money back that you lost. All right, now Baba's gonna be a long-term hold. They're down 40% in the last year. And their fundamentals of this company is fantastic. The main fear with Alibaba and the main risk is the Chinese government. All right, you have to keep that in mind. We're not dealing with the US government that we know very well. We're dealing with the Chinese government, which basically does what they want and doesn't ask any questions. So that's the only caution of Alibaba. I'm personally willing to risk it. I think anything under $175 on Baba is a steal for long-term, especially if you're gonna be holding for at least one year to two years. So remember, this is a longer-term hold. Now we're seeing other stocks like Jumia starting to rise also up 8% on the day. So that's an interesting movement on Jumia because they've been beaten down 
um, in the last three months, down 32%. So is this the time that Jumia starts bouncing back and people start investing in Jumia again? I think Jumia can be around a $30, $35 stock in the next six months or so. What else do we have moving today? We have Lemonade up a little bit, you know, 4.3%, but they have some positive momentum in the week, 6.5%, which is pretty interesting because they still are down a lot in the last three months. They're, uh, they're currently sitting at a support, some pretty popular supports, right around 50, 66, and then we see more supports right here around 60 and 80. We've talked a lot about Lemonade in the past, so I won't go too deep into them today. Skills is another one we talked a lot about in the past, so we won't go deep into them, but they were up 15%, 16% in the pre-market. So they're a stock that can move heavy. However, they lost a lot of their steam and they ended the day with only up around 4%. All right, 13% gain in the last week. So they have some positive momentum. And this is a stock that I think can get to that $15, $20 range once again, but they obviously have a little bit more risk behind them. But being bottomed out, you know, at a 52-week low, the risk first reward is starting to look a little bit more attractive on skills. And it's probably the best time if you ever thought about buying skills is to get in under $12 and closer to that $11 or $10 mark on skills. And just to end off on charge point two, it's still holding pretty good at uh, 30 minutes after the bell rings for the close. Yeah, charge point is up 12%, but in the grand scheme of things, if you go to the yearly chart, look how small that bump was, that 12% gain. You know, charge point is a stock that can easily go to $30 per share, $35 per share, or even to new all time highs once, once people realize what they're dealing with with charge point. Remember, even last year, almost 12 months ago, probably closer to like 10 months ago, um, they were up to $46 per share. So charge point's not a stock to be messing around with. And that's why they're one of my largest holdings with over $5,000. And I'm also selling puts, which is a bullish thing, selling puts. We go over several different option trading strategies in my training course. So if you need some video programs, if you like my video specifically, I have a video training program that teaches you everything from A to Z, especially if you're a new trader or a new options trader that can really help you out. But I think ChargePoint is going to be going higher. You can see they have that support right around $20 per share. They've hit it very consistently. They hit $20 per share again. They bounced right off $20 per share reported earnings and now they're up almost 14% on the day. So maybe they'll go up another 20%. Who knows what's gonna happen tomorrow. I would love to see ChargePoint up 15% or more from just reporting earnings. And ChargePoint has a lot more room to keep running as well and keep going higher. But let's talk about what everyone really wants to talk about, which is cryptocurrency and Ethereum in general. Wow, look at Ethereum, $3,700, 15% in the last week, 45% in the last month. They're on a crazy ripping tear. They're almost past new all-time highs. And the question that everyone's asking is, can it go to $4,000? Can it pass new all-time highs? Can it go to $41,000, $42,000, $5,000? Will it keep going? Will it be at $8,000 by the end of the year? And honestly, nobody knows. But with all of the hype that's going on, we can easily see Ethereum keep going. Now, the question is, is this going to be a bull trap? And is it going to bounce off that resistance and go lower to that $3,500 mark or even that $3,000 mark once again? We saw a lot of, of consolidation right between $3,000 and $3,200. So I think that's a great place to pick up some more shares. I think Ethereum will be at $3,000 to $3,200, maybe even 33. You know, if you're thirsty and you really want to get into Ethereum, 33 is probably a good place to set your price points and your price alerts. And if you're looking to sell and you've been holding on Ethereum for a while, you're just looking for the swing trade, I think around 39 to 40 41 anywhere in between that 39 to 41 is a good place to take some profits now personally i'm probably only going to be selling 20 to 30 percent of my position especially if i'm up around 50 percent or more on ethereum i think it's a good idea for me 
uh, personally to take some positions and some profits on Ethereum right around $4,000 per coin. Now, with that being said, I'm going to be holding around 70% or 75% of my position to new all-time highs and for long term because I think Ethereum can pass Bitcoin in the market cap. So it'll be interesting to see the dynamic switch. And if it does, for example, what if Ethereum keeps going up to $5,000 per coin, $10,000 per coin, and it just keeps going higher. And then something like Bitcoin, for example, loses steam. So instead of going higher to $50,000, $60,000 per coin, what if Bitcoin starts going to $45,000, $35,000, and it hovers and it stays stagnant right around that $35,000 to $45,000. We have that crypto winter that everyone's expecting for Bitcoin. You know, Bitcoin doesn't really move much. It stays right around the $35,000, $45,000. But something like Ethereum just keeps skyrocketing higher and higher and higher. You know, that's, uh, that's a scenario that you definitely have to think about. And I really haven't heard too many other people speaking about that theory, but most people say if Ethereum's going to go higher, you know, and pass Bitcoin, then Bitcoin's probably going to continue to 100K or 150K. But what about the consolidation? You know, that's definitely a possibility if everyone just starts abandoning Bitcoin, takes their money out of Bitcoin, starts throwing it into Ethereum for long term. Personally, I don't think that's going to happen, but there's still at least a chance or a small percentage that it can happen. And you definitely want to be prepared and diversified, not just in Ethereum or not just a Bitcoin, but into all of these ones that you see on my screen, at least is typically the minimum of the diversity that you want. You know, you typically want some Ethereum, you want some Bitcoin, you want a little bit of Litecoin, which is up, you know, a good amount to 28% in the last month. And, you know, if you want to be a little bit risky, Ethereum Classic and Dogecoin are some good coins to add into the mix. Now, we still have Dogecoin pretty low. You know, it's only at 28 cents per coin. And with Ethereum at new all-time highs, Bitcoin will probably be at new all-time highs pretty soon. If Bitcoin continues to follow Ethereum, you know, we can see Bitcoin at $60,000 per coin especially because we're seeing a huge rally in crypto in general and look ethereum's basically at new all-time highs now litecoin i think will definitely be at 250 dollars per coin to 300 dollars per coin again but it's going to take a little bit of time remember litecoin's the one that's always a little bit delayed and behind ethereum and bitcoin so i think we'll see a spike in litecoin to 220 250 dollars per coin but if I'm going to be buying more because I already have a large amount on my other portfolios and my Coinbase portfolio that I show you guys all the time, unless you're a new subscriber, you probably haven't seen my Coinbase portfolio, but I go over at least once or twice a week. I have around $40,000 of cryptocurrency in that account as well. So Litecoin, something to look into. Ethereum, we talked about. Dogecoin, I want to talk a little bit more about. And this is one that I'm considering buying now at 27, 28 cents. I think it's a really good deal for Dogecoin. I think there's a very strong possibility to sell it at 35 cents, which would be a nice little increase there. But if you're a little bit more of a long-term holder or a risky investor, I think that this one can go above 50 cents per coin again, which would be a huge increase of your money. Now, we have only a little bit on my Robinhood account, but I have a lot more on my poor, uh, Coinbase Pro account. And also in my Weeble account, I actually have some Dogecoin for some reason. So Dogecoin, I think there's a lot of money to be made still even at 25 cents to 30 cents. Anything around 19 cents to 25 cents, the ideal place to buy Dogecoin. But if you're a little bit above that, I'm sure it won't hurt, especially if you're gonna be planning on holding for a little bit longer as well. So I hope you guys did like my stock market update that we had here. We're up $1,000 on the day. I hope you appreciate me opening up my portfolio and being completely transparent with you guys. And if you do appreciate that, all I ask for in return is smash a big thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed for long term. All right, now we see ChargePoint is holding its after hours percentage, which is a good thing as well. If you didn't know about some of these stocks that were exploding today, we made a lot of money um, in the stock market today. Go ahead and reach out to me on Instagram. I have a close friends list where I help beginner traders 
and even advanced traders understand the basics of the stock market for beginners, you know, what not to do, what to do to make money, lay it out very simply. Over a thousand people in my class now, so I know exactly the steps to take to make success in the stock market. And I know exactly what beginners are doing wrong because a lot of people are doing the same things wrong as well. So if you're looking to become more serious about the stock market, message me for sure. I also have classes for advanced traders if you're looking for option trading. I have around 22 specific videos for option trading. And as we speak, I'm developing a cryptocurrency trading um, video program and video course. And this one might be my most epic training course yet, going over any, everything with NFTs, deep dives into NFTs, everything with cryptocurrency, altcoins, blockchain, so you can understand everything and be a wizard at everything to do with cryptocurrency. You know, you can use Uniswap, transfer, send money to people and understand everything. So if you like the crypto content and you want to see more of that, comment below cryptocurrency updates more often. That's all you have to comment. So I know that you want more cryptocurrency updates. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you subscribe with post notifications on. Share with a friend if you think they'll find value in this video. And I'll see you in the next video. Don't time the market, buy the market. Peace.